thing can only flow when you have built a structure. And the structure is, is a thinking pattern. So when God is working on your thinking pattern, it's because he's intending to pour oil on you. That thinking pattern has his blessing. A thinking pattern is blessed. Are you with me? A thinking pattern is blessed. When, he, when, when you have completely worked it out, then he pours oil on it. Then you now begin to appreciate the blessing of that pattern. A thinking pattern is not just a thinking pattern. It's a blessing. It's a realm. It's a glory. It's a power. It's a force. Yeah. A thinking pattern is not just God troubling you. It's God making you. It's God upgrading you. It's moving you from economy to first class. That's what he's doing. It's making you divine. So, so when, when you are not aligning him, adjust your thinking pattern. You can't do great things for him. If you don't allow God to adjust your thinking pattern, then stop wasting time praying and shouting. And no, you see, when, when you have come to God and say, God, I've come to you, he asks you, Are you sure? You say, Yes. The next thing he wants to do is to start adjusting your thinking pattern. You see, because the joy of God is that as he is, so also are you. His joy is that you can operate as he operates. So when you come, a God has come. Some of you, as you are following God, the, the thought that there are no resources, your brain cannot understand it. Because you have been upgraded. You see, a thinking, somebody's thinking pattern is not necessarily what is obtainable. That people are thinking there's no money does not mean there's no money. There's no money is a place. They can readjust your thinking pattern. If they upgrade you, you will see there's money. Some of us just know we cannot die. Some of us just know that we are fine. Do you get my point? It's an upgrade. We worked with God. He constructed something else and put oil on it. So a, a thinking pattern is not just a thinking pattern. Some people teach a thinking pattern, but they don't teach the oil that is on it. I don't like that one. Yeah. The Bible says, after we have suffered for a while, what will happen? We shall be glorified. What's the difference? What's the meaning of suffering? Suffering means I follow God's thinking, but I allow him to build a thinking pattern. To suffer means you drop your way and choose God's way. The end of it is glory. In suffering, there's nothing glorious about suffering. It is when they now put oil on it. Like, wow, God is here. God is here. That's the end. That's the end game. The end game is the what? Is the glory. And the suffering is how long? While. So the suffering is not a permanent state. The glory is more permanent than the suffering. The suffering is just opportunity to, for God to create something. 